Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress. I'm sure many of us have experienced it before, and I'll share how I overcame it in today's episode. Hey guys, good morning. Recently, Jisung, Sam, and I have been super busy. And whenever we think we can't possibly handle anything else, something new always comes up. In the past, I would get super stressed out, but I found a way to handle things better now. And I want to share with you guys more on that later. All right, right now it's about 7 a.m. And before heading into work, I actually need to drop off my car because I need to get something fixed. Whoa, camera. Need a mount for this camera in the future. All right, goodbye to my car for now. And here to pick me up is... Jeffrey Sun. Hello. We're gonna head back to work. But first things first, let's get some breakfast. We're at the Golden Arch. Golden Arch. I have a really funny story to share about this place. Chicken McGriddle. Ooh. Iced coffee. I usually don't drink a, this big of iced coffee. We also got some breakfast for Jisung and Sam. We'll give it to them later. This is like my favorite thing here. I always crave this, like randomly. My favorite thing at McDonald's is just their breakfast. We're definitely not sponsored, but you know, sponsors if you like McDonald's. Mmm. We're at the studio now, and uh, look who's here. Jisung and Sam, I've got your breakfast. It's a little bit greasy, sorry, but now that the gang's here. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're the Three Musketeers. Musketeers. No way, they missed my milk. No! Yo, McDonald's, where's my milk? They don't usually put- I'm so sad. Well, you didn't check it after you bought it? You just... McDonald's, you failed us. Mm, Jisung is gonna be awake after this because he doesn't look it right now. <laughs> yes. I don't like McDonald's. <gasps> I'd rather have some A5 white. Okay, thank you, Will. I appreciate it. I'm I never buying you food ever again. <laughs> Unappreciative person. Right now, we have class coming up, but before that, what have you been working on recently? Uh, we have a dance competition coming up soon, and I've been working on that. So you're so busy right now, because Sam is actually editing a lot of our Three Musketeers videos. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. <laughs> Why do you choose, you know, to join this competition while, you know, you're so jam-packed schedule-wise? For the dance competition, you're on stage by yourself for three to five minutes. That just like pushes you to new limits as a dancer because everyone's just watching you. So it forces you to uh, work on your craft a lot more and hone your craft. Yes. Coming up in a few days, so you don't have that much time, so... Ciao. All right. I'm worried. Hi, right, Jisung. Wait, wait, wait. My hair. No, Jisung is looking disheveled always because he's so busy, he doesn't, doesn't have time to keep up with appearances, right? You're like Albert Einstein, he's a genius, but he looks crazy. So all geniuses what? are like that. Their, their appearance is just disheveled. That's fine, don't worry about it. Recently, you've been working on choreographing dances yeah. for Shane program. I've worked like a couple times with other choreographer for the Shenyin. I'm like supporting. This time is my first time like working on my own, and that's pretty tough. I mean, I feel... Of course, I feel very happy and I feel like honored and then through this process, I'm improving a lot as well. But yeah, it's a, also it's a pressure. <laughs> we don't have much time because we got to get ready for class, so let's do that and then see you guys later. See you. Oh my, Sam Pool's driving today. We just finished uh, work today and now we're gonna get some food. Our options for food are McDonald's, of course. We had McDonald's today, bro. McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's, okay. So whenever we go out on our day off, we wanna treat ourselves and get something good. Like McDonald's? Like McDonald's? No, just kidding, but that's always my run-on joke. And I always request McDonald's and Sam Pool and Jisung never wanna go. But sometimes when they say yes, I, I actually don't wanna go. It's just a joke, anyway. Uh, Rusong's here. He is our cameraman and also he helps us come up with ideas for our videos, so very helpful. Actually, I just remember we gotta pick up my car first, I almost forgot. Looking good. Jisung's already making himself comfortable in here. Oh, is that Will? No, that's not Will. That's an old grandma. That was awkward, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Only thing I ate was a McGriddle that you gave me. Jisung only ate a McGriddle all day. Oh, I'm hungry man. Oh yeah, Sam's doing some DIY to his car. Ah, uh, don't record this! Why? It's fine. He forgot to put a part back on his car. I don't know how this goes anymore. Oh, oh, got it, got it. So I'm a maximalist, but when I got a car, I'm maxing it out with all these little accessories. It makes me happy. This is actually Sampoo's new car. It looks good, it looks good. Nice. Let me just give you an idea of what I'm currently working on right now. So one is I'm teaching dance. Two, we're rehearsing for our new programs for Shenyun. 
And three, there's a dance competition, so I'm also helping out, coaching a few students and just fellow dancers. And then, of course, we're working on our three musketeers, so every single week on our day off is actually when we have the most time to go film. We had a mid-autumn festival. This is just something that we had re recently, and we were working on programs, pieces, and you'll actually see some of that on Shane Creations. Let's check up on Sam real quick. You got, you're doing okay here, fixing your car? Yeah. What's really been a big workload that I've taken on recently is something called the Shenyun Arts Proficiency Assessment Center. I believe that's the full name. What we're working on is developing an online dance course. I'm gonna be one of the instructors. Wait, so does that mean that uh, if any of our fans wanna have Will as their actual teacher, they can sign up? Yeah, you can sign up. I'll leave the link below. It might still be in development right now, so we're doing some tests. We're gonna make it all work out, and then you guys can take dance classes online, and I could be your teacher or, you know, other Shane dancers. How am I managing to cope with all of these responsibilities? I'll tell you once I get some food because my brain is not working right now. Well, look, they have some uh, Shenyun, I think these are postcards here? I'm actually not sure what they are, I've never seen them before. Oh yeah, they are postcards. Remember that dance? I was in that a few years ago. No, 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 it doesn't oh, okay, look okay, good. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm showing Will my mods right now that I got for my car and he's like telling me that. Sam Poo's trying to get a mod for his car and it just looks so bad. I really like working on cars, but you have to mod it tastefully. So you can't just do random stuff. It's gonna make your car look worse. What can I say? I'm a maximalist. I'm just getting everything right now. I order so many things off Amazon. In Chinese, we have these idioms. There's one called 画蛇天族. You're drawing a snake and you're adding legs to it because you're like, oh, the snake is not good enough. Like, exactly I gotta make it look better. So you add, you add legs to a snake. You have this nice looking car, you're adding random stuff to it. You know, you're gonna add a horn to it, like ah. make it a unicorn. Don't do that. Sam. What's wrong with the horn? Don't do it. Please don't do it. Okay. Don't hey, the car. food's here. Okay, food's here. All right. Yo, look at this. The food is finally out. We've been starving. Oh, it looks really good. It looks so good. Yo, get some of the soup. It's so good. My number one tip is try your best to remain calm. Don't stress yourself out because a lot of stuff is just about your mental state. Especially if I get stressed out, I notice that the people around me are going to feel it and it's not going to be good, okay? Sample? Because he's the leader, so if he's stressed out, everyone under him is also stressed out. Uh, come on, man. We're equal, Sample. No, you're, you're the leader for sure. <laughs> Repl okay. Editor, replay all the videos where he is making fun of me and being my boss. Can you just get over it? All right guys, get some squid. The Galbi Seafood Hot Pot. I think it's just to try to look at other people's good points because when I'm stressed, I can get very moody, all right? And especially during class, and I like, mm -hmm. just start yelling like, what is this movement? Why are you doing like that? But I've been trying, I think for like these past month, maybe almost two months, to be a little bit more looking at positive, like the positive side of people, what they're doing well, and to be a bit more encouraging. Do you feel like it's like that? No, he doesn't? I'm oh, so sorry. sad. I feel opposite though. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, I'll be the um, judge here, commentator. So mm -hmm. Wu has actually been getting nicer, but because Jisung is making dances during this period of time, he's super stressed too, so he is not um, performing that well during class. So Wu is staying a lot for Jisung. So it may feel like for Jisung, he's being more strict, but actually, Wu is overall nicer. Yeah, to be fair, it's something that I've been trying to work on. So it definitely you know, needs a lot of work and improvement. Okay, Jisung, you haven't been to class. You miss a lot of classes. <laughs> okay, let's just not talk about that. that, that, that. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> As a teacher, you need to like critique your students and criticize what they're not doing correctly. I teach different students, like some are newer at dancing, they just started learning. And there's this one student who, he's been struggling a little bit, and I used to always criticize him. There wasn't much improvement. So what I've been trying recently is to give him more encouraging feedback. I felt like he's gained more confidence in this period of time just from encouraging him. It's the difference between being negative, giving feedback, and being positive. And he actually remembers it a lot better. For me, it's like looking at other people's good points, being able to see that. But that also translates to outside the classroom in real life. Like when you're working with people, if you respect the person and you look at their good points, the overall working relationship is so much better. So I Go eat, you just eat, eat. <sighs> seafood pancake. Let's go. Starving, starving, just eat, just eat. Xiao Jin, just eat, just eat. Doesn't have been chewing. Come to the 3M Mobile. We just finished eating our Korean meal and now we're getting some desserts. Jisung's favorite. He's already started eating every time, like, I'm like, all right, we gotta film. He starts eating first. Typical Jisung. Eating is the main thing and filming a second. Mm. My main takeaway for how to cope with, you know, stressful situations is that mm -hmm. if you cannot change the situation that you're in, what you need to really change is your attitude. What was yeah. that quote you told me? Oh, the one from Albert Einstein, actually. Weakness of attitude becomes weakness of character. 
it's very important to have a good attitude regardless of what kind of situation you're in. Yo, can I share something real quick? Mm -hmm. Today I was actually really sad. I was editing and then also we had to do a dance competition in the afternoon so I had some pressure. Basically we're filming in the morning and maybe you guys can tell, I wasn't that happy. Sample, what's that, what's that look of disdain in your face? I don't like McDonald's. After what we filmed, I went back, I was like, oh man, this is really bad. I can't just blame the situation and be like angry and sad or whatnot. So I was like, okay, I gotta change myself. So after, after that, I was like, oh, I'm sorry guys. Like, I'm happy now, kind of. Yeah, Sambu was, was a little bit moody today, but I, I noticed at nighttime when we went out, it was a lot better. You wanna be around people who are, you know, generally in a happier mood. And you feel happy when you're with them. Good job, Sam. I'm happy again. <laughs> True. We wanna update the audience on one thing. We're gonna go back to weekly videos. You might have noticed that we've been doing one video every two weeks. Whoa, but we're gonna exciting. try to keep up weekly videos. Let's do this. I think we can manage, hopefully. Let's do this, Chi Sung. All right, so weekly videos is one thing. And what are your ways of coping with stressful situations, okay? Let us know in the comments below. And subscribe if you like our videos. And, and we'll, we'll see you guys next, next time. time. I have a random story. Oh, yes. Okay. So this morning, at the beginning of this video, mm -hmm. I went to go fix my car. Uh huh. And then they couldn't fix my car. They mm -hmm. fixed one thing, but there's another thing I want to fix because I ordered the wrong parts. And this happened to me multiple times before Ugh. where I ordered the wrong parts. And then it's not my own fault. It's the company that shipped out the wrong parts. When I got the news, I was like, oh. Ugh. Afterwards, you know, you just- Anger. You no, know, what happened was I called the company that shipped it out and they're like, okay, they just shipped out a new one for me, mm -hmm. free of charge. Uh -huh. So but this one, everything but works out. It, it's, I mean, just everything works out, you know. It's kind of, it was kind of stressful at the time. And I had to take my car in and then, yeah. But yeah. just go with the flow. It all works out in the end. Things will work out. Sometimes if you stress, it's not gonna help, you know? Yeah, nothing gonna help. I was like, oh, whatever, then it feel a lot better. Yeah. Anyway. The car's right there. <laughs>